Okay y'all so welcome to part two of my birthday series for my makeup look. Today we're going to do a cool tone 90s inspired makeup look as you guys can see. You know I have the little bandana, the tank top, the vibes going on and we're just going to hop right into it. So I already have my base done. I'll put the details down below in the description box of what it is that I use on my face and we're just going to use a palette that honestly I really don't reach but we're gonna try it out today <clears throat> well I've tried it out before but I really just want to tap into it a lot more and it's the Meredith Duxbury and Morphe palette honestly I like the color the colorway is actually so beautiful like look at this so I think we're gonna have a little bit of fun with this okay so we're gonna first start off with the shade mm, Endless Nights in the crease. So we're gonna use like a really nice fluffy brush to kind of get that in there. One thing I really love about this palette is that it is actually pigmented. You would you wouldn't think, you know? But it's absolutely beautiful. concrete jungle with the same brush to kind of smooth out the edges this is beautiful slate gray color the shade Empire State for the lid. That's like a really nice dark gray color. Empire State. We're gonna run it down on the waterline because one thing these 90s babies did was smudge out their waterline, okay? And I love that for them. are done so for the brows we're gonna attempt to thin them out just a little bit so I'm just using a spoolie to fluff them out just a little bit and I'm going in with my Juvia's Place the Eye Sculpt Eye Shade and I'm using the darkest color because those brows were really, really, really thin. The brows were super thin, but also very, very, very dark. Kind of like, you know, over plucked a little bit. <laughs> Thank you. 
seriously just drawn on straight on <laughs> but I'm a fan I actually kind of like it we're gonna use Urban Decay's Perversion for my waterline as well just to kind of darken it up a little bit already know we have to use our beauty marks it's not a 90s inspired look without the beauty marks of course we can not <laughs> We really cannot do a 90s inspired look without the iconic black lip liner. So I'm using this one from Kiss. It's their Luxury Intense Lip Liner in the shade black. I got this from the beauty supply store. off with ginger snap from NYX and just for a little bit of extra pink in the middle I am using tiramisu The Pièce de Résistance is these beautiful like initial earrings that I got from the beauty supply store. Y'all want to tell you like it's so hard to find things that have my initial on them. So when I saw it, I'm like, uh, yeah, I'm gonna grab it because why not? Because it's so hard to find things with my initials on them. So when I do, I'm gonna grab it. I can get it together that'll be nice okay so this one's really not it ain't trying to stay in but y'all get the vision okay what do you guys think this is the final look this is my cool toned 90s inspired makeup look y'all let me know down in the comments if i slayed or nay and come back for the next part of my birthday look okay we're gonna find it and we're gonna see how it all turns out okay thank you guys so much for watching love you Bye.